you like to do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do you want to read a book? No. Why not? I read a book once. I don't want to read another. Well, that's what's so good about books. They're all different. I can show you a hundred books and they'll all be different from the one you read. What was the book you read? It was a book about hangings. And there were pictures. What about games? You must have played games. Mm, two boys played blind man's buff with me once. I don't think I want to play games either. I'll teach you how to play chess. Will anyone get hurt? Queen do. <laughs> Almost anything she wants to do. I'll just show you what all the pieces can do again, starting with the pawns, even though they don't count. Rose looks off, listening. To believe it's to a young girl's advantage to receive both him and his so-called wisdom? In the drawing room, Oliver looks at the window. Fagan and Edward peer in. <laughs> Being on the arm of a man. Shut up and listen. Brownlow, Losburn, and Mrs. Bedwin rush into the drawing room as Fagan and Edward run off. Rose clings to Losburn and Oliver to Mrs. Bedwin. What is it? Who is it? It was him. Uh, the man who came for Agnes. It was Fagan and his friend. They were at the window. Losburn runs. That's the southwest, Devon and Cornwall. And they all speak like this. And they have shipwrecks every Monday at midnight by appointment. And you all go down holes in the ground alert for tin. Don't really know how they speak out there. It's the north. But here, this country here, this is Scotland. And they all speak like Mrs. Bedwin in Scotland. <laughs> you obviously don't know the difference between Edinburgh and Glasgow, Mr. Larsburg. Or even Scotland and Ireland. Mrs. Bedwin, I think it's perhaps time you should take Oliver to his room. Oh, is that the time? Good night, Oliver. Tomorrow. I shall show you the world. If I'm still here. I shall go too. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, Rose. Good night, Miss Fleming. The women take